thank you for coming. I hope you had a great time at the festival with Big Boy. I hope he was a highlight. I love that guy. He's a musician, a rapper. I'm here with Michael Carvin. When I this interview will be like a hot seat, so you're not really you don't really know the questions, so you know, hopefully you're cool. In the podcast we do a lot of human interest types of questions. We try to get behind the person, behind the company, behind the profession, and that's why we're all here today. Uh, financial advisors, that's that's our job, to get behind the numbers and talk to the client, the prospect. So, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to give you an easy one. Okay. Tell me about yourself. Uh, so, Michael Carvin, founder, CEO of, of Smart Asset. Smart Asset's a company I founded uh, about, a, about a decade ago. It's... Today, uh, the largest marketplace connecting consumers to financial advisors. Uh, to give you a sense of scale, this month we'll, uh, we'll have about 15 million people come to smartasset.com. We'll serve another 50 million people through partnerships with companies like CNN and, 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 and Barron's and Forbes and uh, MSN. And, uh, and we'll refer out, so we refer consumers to financial advisors. We'll refer out consumers that have combined uh, investable assets of about $30 billion. Um, and so, uh, and so, yeah, and, and, and I guess what's interesting about where we are today is it's been a crazy 10 years, but it still feels like we're just getting started. 10 years, really? Yeah. I feel like I just learned about you like four years ago. How are financial advisors hearing about you? How are they hearing about yeah. us? So uh, we do a lot of, we have a large sales team. We do a lot of outreach. Um, uh, one of our core competences is producing great content for consumers. We also produce great content for, for financial advisors to help them understand how to be successful on our platform, how to create good, uh, um, good process around outreach, how to create good, good sales skills, and ultimately you know, turn our referrals into new clients. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you like a founder-centric podcast question. Okay. What were you like in high school? What happened in high school that you think led to you being a founder CEO of Smart Asset? So, uh, so I grew up in I grew up in London. I grew up in England, um, and uh, I grew up. Gosh, so I grew. I played a lot of rugby as a kid. Oh yeah, cool. Uh, and uh, I would say the other thing, the other thing that probably defined me is I was, I was a pretty big nerd. Um, hmm. Not a lot of overlap between those two groups, uh, but uh, but look, rugby, rugby made me tough. I, the position I played was scrum half. I got I got basically beat up pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot, and uh, and being a nerd uh, made me really curious. Um, and the idea for starting Smart Asset came out of my own experience trying to buy a home. And um, I was doing what all consumers do. I was trying to figure out what I could really afford, uh, what was going to happen to my taxes. This is after the financial crisis. Does does buying a home make any sense in the first place? And I was going online to get answers. And I, I couldn't believe how bad the personal finance experiences were. So I was being told I could afford twice what I thought made sense. Um, you know, wrapped in these kind of bad 1990s user experiences. Mm -hmm. uh, and I got curious, why is this so bad? Um, and the idea for, for smart assets slowly grew from there. And, and, and the conviction that if we build a better experience, better tools, better content, better calculators designed to serve consumers better financial advice online, that we would be able to build a really big audience. And if we were, really, if we were successful in building a, a big audience, that we'd be able to be successful building a, a, a big business on top of that. So, I mean, so you're coming around 10 years. You just finished a, a raise last year, correct? Yep. And so what are you going to do with that money? What's going to happen? <laughs> well, we're pretty good at spending money. Uh, we, uh, we raised $110 million at a, at a billion-dollar valuation. Um, uh, so, you know, enormously proud of, of, the, of the progress we've made as a company. Uh, and, the, and the money's about fueling growth because, you know, we're in, we're in you know, one of the largest asset classes in the U.S., and I think... Uh, we provide such a valuable service, which is, again, connecting consumers to financial advisors, and we're really the only platform that does that at, 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 our, si at our size. You know, we, we compare ourselves a lot to the real estate industry, and if you look at how home buyers find their real estate agent, well, there's Zillow, sure. there's Trulia, which they acquired, there's Redfin, there's Realtor.com, there's Move.com, and there are a bunch of other properties. In wealth management, it's just us. Um, and so we're, we, we're really getting to define how consumers interact with you know, the wealth management industry and, and most of our consumers are, are getting their, their advisor for the first time. Um, and we're using, we're using those dollars that we raised to, you know, to fuel future growth because, you know, 
we think that you know last year we were a billion dollar company. There's no reason five years from now we shouldn't be a ten billion dollar company. Mm. And what would you say is the ratio between people looking for advisors versus the number of advisors on the platform? So we have about four thousand advisors on the platform right now, um, and we make about thirty thousand to forty thousand referrals each month. Um, we have we have most of the large RIAs are on the platform. I just give you guys some numbers, that's about 60% of our business. Um, and then 40% of our business is working with individual advisors. Mm -hmm. So, you know, an advisor who's looking to grow their practice, and they might be a part of a bigger firm, or it might be the, they might be a solo practitioner, and they're probably getting 10 to 20 referrals per month. Well, so if you're an introvert, for example, and you don't like meeting with people, that's a great inbound, like, lead generation, basically. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. Um, you know, our, you know I, a, a lot of platforms that help advisors market are designed to teach you how to do social media, teach you how to do SEO, teach you how to buy ads online. And our view is let us do that for you. Mm -hmm. we, you know, don't spend, you know, your time, uh, you know, doing, uh, uh, y you know, marketing sessions or, or trying to meet, um, you know, your next client at a country club, come to us. We can, we, we, we consumers come through our platform um, they tell us exactly what they're looking for and when they're looking for it, and then we do our best to match the right consumer to the right advisor at the right time. Let us do that work for you. And then, mm -hmm. um, you know, you have to be, you, all of the most successful advisors on our platform, uh, they're good at presenting a good product, right? They're, they're financial advice product. And so you've got to be really good at that to be successful on our platform, but you don't need to be good at SEO. You don't need to be good at, at striking up conversations with people you don't know. You don't need to be good at social media because uh, we can do all that for you. And that's all built in the service for financial advisors. Absolutely. So the way the way it works is, you know, you uh, um, if you wanted to work with us, you say the kind of consumer that you want to target, uh, and the number of referrals that you want on a monthly basis, and the geography that you want to target. So you might say, hey, I'm in Huntington Beach. I want to meet ten people with over a million dollars a month. Uh, I want to meet ten people per month where each of those consumers has over a million dollars, and that's what you're going to get. A million dollars a month is cool too. So. A million dollars a month is good. That would be nice. So. Uh, all right, so what does the dashboard look like? I mean, this is really like almost too good to be true. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you got what you guys think, but uh, I know when I started in this business uh, that we never had anything like that. So what does your dashboard look like? Like, can you give us some insights of what type of clients are looking for advisors right now based on what you're seeing? Yeah, so um, the biggest uh, demo or, or kind of cohort on our, on our platform are pre-retirees. These are people who are, you know, maybe they're five, 10 years away from retirement, um, about $970,000 of investable assets. 75% um, are getting, uh, getting an advisor for the first time. And, the, and but what, what's important if you're an advisor looking to work with us is, is the motivation that that consumer has. And the motivation for most of those consumers, I'd say roughly about half, um, is they're, they're looking to get serious about their retirement for the first time. That's the biggest demo. And then I, then I would say that you know, after that, um, small business owners, if I was building a, a more of a niche practice, I might target small business owners. There are so many small business owners in the U.S., and they have a lot more complexity to work through you know, than, your, than your average person. And, and so that's, that's, a pretty, that's a pretty sizable demo as well. Okay, I have a very personal question to ask you. So how did you beta test this smart asset platform? Did you find your advisor on the platform? <laughs> uh, I did. I did. did. I, well, yeah, you know, the market was down 5% yesterday. I was actually talking to Steve yesterday. Um, uh, so yes, I, I, so Steve, you know, and I have been working together now for four years. He was originally at Merrill, now he's at UBS. Um, and, uh, and yeah, look, the proof is in the pudding. Uh, so I went through our process in the same way that um, in the same way that, uh, um, you know, all of our advisors, uh, sorry, in the same way that all of our consumers go through the process, I got matched, told the, told our, our platform what I was looking for, got matched to three different advisors. I interviewed all three and ended up with, with Steve. Steve's probably raised about $50 million through our, through our platform. Mm -hmm. Um, although <laughs> if we have a couple more days like yesterday, I might be looking for oh, a new really? advisor. I'm just kidding. Well, yeah. what do you, what are you looking for? What kind of advisor? Yeah, good question. So, um, you know, uh, the most important thing for me, and I think the most important thing for, for most consumers, is uh, is building trust. 
right? It's it's demonstrating you know integrity and and you know how are you going to look after me and how are you going to look after my family and how are you going to make sure how do I get confidence that you're always going to be making decisions in my in my best interest and you know um, one thing we don't lose sight of is is that uh, a lot of our advise, advise all, everyone appreciates that this is a relationships business and our advisors expect us to have that kind of relationship the relationship that they have with their consumers they expect us to have that kind of relationship um, uh, with them and, and and Steve you know as an example has become a really really good friend of mine mm -hmm. so you said you had three advisors that were recommended to you was that the main reason why you picked Steve what was uh, was something wrong with the other two guys or no, I, like so again. This all so it comes down to personal preference, right? So, one of the other, one of the Steve is not a stock picker. Steve's Steve's expertise is hey, I want to make sure you're 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 tax efficient. I want to make sure your strategy is aligned to your risk appetite. I want to make sure we've got really smart estate planning for you and your family, and that you're set. Up, should anything ever happen to you, that your family is set up for success. Um, and that's what I was looking for. And you know, when we're we're not going to try and, you know beat the market every month, right? Um, and some of the other people I was matched to, you know, that that's their their pitch is, hey, sure. you know, we've got, um, we believe we have the ability to outperform, we, the outperform the market. We've got, you know, um, um, you know, we're, we're a team of stock pickers and that's just not, you know, a lot of people do want that, but that just is not what I wanted. So your advisor is with EBS right now. Was that a big deal? What if he was with ABC Wealth Management somewhere else yeah no I, I, again for me it's about building a relationship with the person um, he was originally when when we started working together he was at Merrill and then about a year ago he went over to UBS and obviously I went with him um, no it, so um, I you know gosh I probably shouldn't say this but say I, it. <laughs> <laughs> but being at a big bank is probably not I, I would probably have preferred it if it was Steve capital and he was on his own there are some drawbacks to being on, on a on a on a big bank. You know, I don't. Um, I and uh, and so you know, I, I probably would have preferred, or at least as I'm picking an advisor, an independent wealth manager would have had a slight edge over me. Sure. Um, I, I you know in terms of how I did, made that decision. More objective, you think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you built the relationship with trust, no matter where he goes. So that's what's most most important. That's yep. great. That's great. Okay. I think we have a few minutes for questions, um, but I have some interesting. As I was preparing this, I have a couple of fun, like, fire squad type questions. So you ready? Yeah. All right. Star Wars or Spaceballs? Gosh, Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Golden State Warriors or LA Lakers? Golden State Warriors. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're Curry. Curry's my you're guy. A cool dude. It's getting, it's getting harder. Okay. Katy Perry or Jennifer Lopez? I mean, you know, th those those. If you're gonna force me to choose, I guess you Katie gotta Perry. choose one. <laughs> I guess I guess Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Okay. This is a hard one. So I'll give you some context. They're both from the East Coast, uh, so kind of doesn't matter what your answer is, but you got to know where you you got to work the room. So, Biggie or Tupac? Wow, Biggie. Okay. Biggie. All right, that's that's brave. Yeah. You know, because you know where you are, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I really appreciate it. that. Was awesome, good sport. So, let's answer some of these questions we have here. Uh, can you speak? to the conversion rate and expectations of using your service? Yep. That's a good question. Yeah. Um, so uh, the way our the way we um, uh, advise on that is as follows. So uh, we send you 100 referrals. Uh, you're going to be able to get in touch with, you're going to have good conversations with about 50% of them. So we send you 100 referrals. You'll talk to 50 people. You'll set up about 20 meetings. Um, uh, and so, you know, 20% of the time you're going to have an in-person meeting with, with the consumer and you should convert about 5% of your leads. So you're converting about one in 20 of the leads that we send you. Uh, and so just to quickly talk through why that's a good, a really good deal for, for the advisor. 
So if we're going to introduce you to a million dollar client, we're going to charge roughly $200 for that lead, between 200 and 250, depending on how, what kind of package you sign up for. Um, so if you've got a 5% a conversion rate, so you're going to convert one in 20 of those, your cost to generate a new client with a million dollars is 20 times that 200, you know, call it between four and $5,000. So your acquisition cost is four to $5,000 to generate a million dollar client, right? Or a million dollars in assets. If you, if, you, uh, if you charge, you know, I think the average fees on our platform are 1.1%, that million dollar client should be bringing in about you know, $10,000, $11,000 a year for you, right? So you're making your money back in about six months. That's the way we think about the ROI. If you've got a 10% conversion rate, you know, you're making your money back in three months. So, you know, rough, call it a 200% return on your money. Um, and it's, that's the ROI that's been fueling our, fueling our growth. Um, yeah, so uh, can you talk about how advisors can interface with Smart Asset or other advisor search tools? And can they control their own destiny? That's interesting. Uh, well, you certainly control your profile on Smart Asset if you work with us. Uh, so you, you control how you're presented to consumers, and then you have control over the number of referrals you want, uh, the geographies that you want to target, um, and uh, the investable assets uh, that the consumer has. So you can target people that only have over a million dollars. You can say, I want to target people that have between 100 and 250,000, between 250 and 100,000. Uh, sorry, between 250,000 and a million, and different investable asset tiers um, uh, demand have different pricing. So, higher investable asset tiers, we charge more for those referrals. That's all the questions. Cool. That's it. You took I it might, easy. I now. might have one more. Oh, that's not easy. <laughs> Let me see. I found a hard one. Um, <laughs> I think that's it, Michael. This is great. Yeah. I mean, you're like the best kept secret for advisors. I mean, it's yeah. amazing. So what do you guys think? <laughs> They're very quiet. <laughs> Must be too early. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. This is Michael Carvin, Smart Asset. Uh, this has been a great festival. This is fantastic. I've never seen so many advisors in shorts and flip-flops before. <laughs> so hopefully we'll come back again next year. Awesome. I hope awesome. to be back. All right. Great. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.